Yorkshire. There are basically five processes in bass fishing. First, look where the bass are. Second, be sure to choose the right lure. These processes are done before casting. Select lure. After casting, there's the lure action, hooking the bass and the exciting fight that follows. If everything goes well, you will land the bass successfully. You need to learn each process, so be sure to check the other fishing tips. Bass move depending on the temperature and weather. However, bass basically tend to stay in shady areas, like near rocks, concrete blocks, water grass, and under piers. Cast many times to learn the underwater landscape and the characteristics of where bass are often found. Water is divided by depth and sections are called ranges. Select lure. In this game, there are four ranges, top, middle, deep, and bottom. Make sure you remember to change lures depending on the aimed range. Bass tend to stay between middle and top water, where they feed in the mornings and evenings. However, even if bass are very hungry, they will stay in deep or bottom waters when the temperature is too high. They will also stay there when it's too cold. If the weather is too hot or too cold, Figure that the bass are in deep or bottom waters. In addition, there are also seasonal patterns. It's very important to learn seasonal weather and temperature patterns. Hooking is basically driving the hook on the lure into the bass's mouth. Miss. If your timing is off and if you don't hit, it's easy for the bass to shake the hook off. Hit! When the bass bite, swing the rod left and right quickly. If you successfully hook, now you fight, which is the best part of bass fishing. Hit! In the underwater scene, a bass will try to escape in all directions. 
pay attention to the line meter so that the line doesn't break or the hook doesn't come off. Especially for big size bass, the line tension will rapidly jump. Left. Be sure to be patient. However, at times you'll need to be bold when retrieving. You will learn with practice. Be patient and try hard. After you get the bass close to the boat, the next step is landing. To land the bass, you'll need to get the bass to the side of the boat. When doing so, the bass will try to get away from the side of the boat. Move the rod in the direction of the bass's movement and efficiently get the bass closer to the boat instead of forcefully reeling it in. Efficiently use the rod to avoid wasting time landing the bass. When the conditions are good, bass react to lures very well. In those cases, bass will try to get bait that is relatively far away. It's a good practice to make them swim closer to the boat and then hook them. This way, you can save time and cast more. Try hooking bass as close as possible to the boat. When you can see bass in the water, but they're not biting, you are most likely choosing the wrong lure. Try different lures depending on the range. Select lure. Maybe color is the problem. Use bass bait if you don't know what else to use. Bass bait is a useful lure that's compatible with all ranges depending on the speed of retrieval. It takes a little practice to use it, but you can expect good results. When the bass are not biting, there is a chance that your lure action is the problem. Basically, bass are bad at hunting. Select lure. Bass want lively bait but not bait that moves too fast. Bass aim at slow moving ones. So, you might need to change the speed of your lure.
It's also effective to pause in retrieving for a moment and then start again. Most lures are made of plastic, but there are some lures made of iron and wood. Select lure. Hard lures are usually designed to sink after casting. Select lure. Some are made to sink to a certain depth when retrieving. A suspended minnow will stay in the spot you stopped retrieving it at for a short while. There are some very useful lures. Hard lures are easier to handle, so practice fishing with them. Curly tail and stick bait are two types of soft lures made of rubber. Since soft lures are made of rubber, they are easy to handle and they're very appealing to hungry bass. Select lure. Also, soft lures are the only ones you can cast into small spaces, such as under the pier. When bass are not very hungry, or cooling down under the pier when it's too hot out, try using a soft lure. bass are at the locations where you can't use hard lures, do not hesitate to use a soft lure. Topwater lures aim at bass near the surface of the water. These lures are not good for bass at deep depths or at the bottom. Most of the topwater lures float on the top of the water. So move the rod to entice the fish. Select lure. The popper and noisy lures make appealing sounds when retrieving. You'll need to learn the uniqueness of each lure to be a top angler. Middle range lures are generally the most useful. Middle lures not only reach the middle, but can also work the top of the water and the beginning of the deep water. Select lure. They're relatively easy to handle, so they're good for beginners. Use them to improve your fishing skills. Close to the bottom of the water is known as the deep range. Bass tend to feed in between middle and deep depths. When the temperature is high in the mornings or afternoons, bass may only be at deep depths. Lure technique is almost the same as for middle. Select lure.
grass at deep depths will chase a lure in the middle depths when they are feeling good. Middle lures don't seek deep enough, so when bass are less active, be sure to use a deep compatible lure. Bottom range lures are mostly made of iron and sink fast. These lures sink to the bottom and the motion they create appeals to bass. Select lure. When a lake is deep, use bottom lures to efficiently find bass. However, it's harder to handle them. When bass are deep, they can create a difficult situation. The secret is to make the lure appeal to the bass by letting it hit the rocks and other obstructions. The lures in the game have two color variations. Natural color and appeal color. Select lure. Natural color lures are the color of fish or small shrimp and are useful in good weather. Appeal color lures are flashy and useful in bad weather or unclear water. Sometimes changing color of the same lure can attract bass. If bass follow the lure but don't bite, try changing the color. Basically, retrieving lures will tend to attract bass. When bass are not very hungry, you need to use lure action. Select lure. The most popular actions are changing the retrieval speed and moving the rod. Most of the lures are compatible with those actions. However, there are lures that move very uniquely, like topwater lures. Try different actions with different lures, and check the reaction of bass to find the best action. Some of the hard lures have steel balls in them and make sounds when retrieving. Vibration or deep clank are two of them. Select lure. When bass are not very hungry, sound appeal is very effective. It's also effective to make the lures hit the structures in the water. To make sound, and appeal to bass. Try to make a little noise when retrieving.
One important fact to remember is that lure selection is key when fishing for bass. Bass tend to feed at different depths during various seasons, such as in spring and fall when it's cold, they feed at the bottom where the temperature is steady. So, during spring and fall, you would want to use bottom or deep range lures. Select lure. In summer, bass feed near the surface. So, for best results, try using topwater or middle range lures. Select lure. Using the right lure, depending on the season, should improve your fishing results. In spring, you can basically catch bass at any time during the day. However, the average size of most bass are a bit smaller than during other seasons. Even if you catch a lot, you won't do well during a tournament unless you land the big and heavy ones. In the morning, and on overcast days. The water temperature doesn't rise, so bass tend to be less active and stay at the bottom. But generally, bass are pretty active in spring, so if you choose the right lure, you should have good results. Bass are the most active during the summer. This is the season when you can experience some of the best bass fishing because of the warm weather. Bass tend to be near the surface of the water, so try using a top water lure and watch them chase after it. However, if the temperature gets too high, bass tend to go to the bottom and become less active. Be sure to remember that on a hot and sunny afternoon, you'll need to change your strategy depending on the weather and temperature. Fall is the best season to catch big bass. You can basically use the same strategy as spring, but the average size of a bass is bigger. So don't waste your time catching the small ones. Go for the big ones. You can get the Big Fish Award by catching the super big size bass. This is the best season to earn rally points, so try your best to do well in every tournament. Winter is the toughest time for bass anglers. Bass are less active and have a minimal appetite, and they tend to stay still at the bottom. Don't bother using topwater or middle range lures. Lure choice is easy, but the hard part is trying to entice the bass to bite. If you can make them bite during winter, you should have no problem during the other seasons. Winter is challenging, but use this time to polish your skills. Bass get more active as the temperature rises. 
Therefore, the best weather for bass fishing is on sunny days when the temperature rises quickly. Sunny days in spring and fall tend to be the best, but you'll need to be careful in summer. Bass become less active when it's too hot. You'll need to change your strategy depending on the season and temperature, even on sunny days. Pay attention to the temperature and you will know where the bass are. It's said that cloudy days are the best for fishing. The temperature and activity of bass tend to be at a steady level. Cloudy days in summer are the best for fishing. You'll still need to pay attention to the temperature depending on the season. Two things you'll need to be careful of on rainy days are temperature and water clarity. The temperature hardly rises on rainy days, so bass tend to be very deep or at the bottom. Water clarity gets bad on days that it rains hard and on rainy fall days. When so, change the color of the lure. Select lure. The color of the lure will also help you to see it in muddy waters. Bass tend to feed in the mornings and evenings. Bass are very hungry in the mornings, so this is a good time to fish. But when the temperature is low, bass become less active and stay still, so you might have a hard time getting them to bite. Plus, in those situations, bass tend to be at deep depth, so one fight takes a bit of time. Recovery from a line break or a hook off may cost you valuable time, so take each fight very seriously. During the afternoon when the temperature rises, be sure to use different strategies depending on the season and weather conditions. The afternoon in spring and fall are good times because of the steady water temperature. In the summer, bass are less active during the afternoon. In the winter, bass are only active during the afternoon. If it's raining or cloudy on a summer afternoon, bass are easy to catch. Be sure to pay close attention to the temperature. This is the easiest time to catch bass. With a steady water temperature and a healthy appetite, Evenings are the best time to catch bass. You should find it easy to get a strike. However, you might get a lot of small sizes and waste your time. Find the big ones and attack that area. Select lure. Try to use your time efficiently by locating the big fish close to your boat 